My name is Nathan Rice. My name is Kelly Benefield. My name is Kevin Benefield. My name is Edwin Perdomo, and um, I'm helping out at the Gospel Ministry in their modification of the building. I heard about David Gates' mission, and I was so impressed with it. I, uh, I thought it was just awesome, the, uh, the work they were doing here, and so I thought it would be fun to be part of it. Well, about a year ago, um, we found some DVDs from, of David Gates, and uh, I really didn't know what I wanted to do with my life until I watched that, and I said, this is what I want to do. I have friends who are into ministry work, and um, they informed me of gospel ministry way back down south in Florida. Well, uh, I had a couple friends who were working here, and I found out a little bit about David Gates, read his books, watched some of the DVDs, and they told me if they needed help, so I came over to see if I could help. I was at a Bible study, and some of the members of the Bible study group uh, mentioned GMI to me. And uh, this was about four or five months ago, and I didn't even know it existed. And uh, so I came over and checked it out. It's going to be fun. There's a green wire. <laughs> well, I've learned that uh, my faith really has been tested, and uh, it needs to grow. And by his grace and his help, hopefully I'll be able to grow in that faith and be able to give everything that he wants me to give. I've learned in my experience that, that, um, that it's very difficult to let go of um, the monetary system that we depend on. We depend on a job and we depend on money. And it's very difficult to depend on God. Well, I've been really impressed with the, um, you know, how how extensive their work is, you know, on several different, many different continents and um, how the Lord's miraculously working, opening doors for them and impressing uh, people to come in and, and work with the group. You know, I don't know what's in the future. I want to be flexible and I'm willing to go wherever the Lord calls me, whether it's here or into a foreign country, I'd be willing to do either one. I plan on going to another ministry if, you know, if it's not possible to stay here and just allow the Lord to continue to lead me. Not sure exactly where yet, but uh, wherever God leads is where I'll be most happy. Come to the mission field for two weeks, a month, try it out, see if you like it, and uh, maybe you'll get hooked. I would strongly encourage them to be involved to the extent that the Lord impresses them in any way, shape, or form that they could be, whether it's supporting it through their financial means or through uh, donating their time or at, as active missionaries. Uh, to whatever extent they're capable of, I'd strongly encourage that because we're um, right here at the end and, and it's a real privilege to be part of this, to, to help finish the Lord's work. This is not my vocation, but it's something I enjoy doing. I'm not an electrician. I'm retired lawyer. For those who haven't heard about mission work, I'd say that um, you can't learn to fully trust in God unless you, you get yourself involved in a project that doesn't, um, doesn't provide you some sort of security. Um, you have to let go of those safety blankets. You have to learn to trust in God. Mm -hmm.